Participate with emotion is to sit back and surrender to the sound and the interpretation of the piece of music. For instance, it is our custom that after the sermon there comes a postlude. In the intimacy of the chapel or the smaller or the mishkan, when there is no accompaniment and the rabbi speaks, I always listen to what the rabbi says and I said, mm, what will I come up to? Because I don't have a accompanist, so I can do whatever I feel like and I somehow give a musical drush of, of what the rabbis spoke about. It's more difficult to do in a sanctuary when it's all, when it's all uh, um, um, you know, organized and, and, and the choir sings and everything is, is a preset before. And if I don't know what the rabbi speaks about, and I already scheduled an anthem after, many times I feel that the piece that I chose is inappropriate or will not make a point and it will be just burdening the congregation with another piece of music. I get up and I cut it and of course Nadia is upset with me because the rabbi speak and why don't I sing? It's not about the performance. So in many times I choose a very neutral prayerful text that will go with anything. And sometimes I even stop in the middle of that delivery of that song and I explain a word or two or I repeat a phrase to bring in the congregation. But if it is a sophisticated cantorial or choral piece, um, I believe that people sit back and wonder and search or count the light bulbs for all I can say. Uh, it's a different atmosphere. Um, I know, for instance, that a few times Lindy and I sang the prayer. Now, it's a beautiful piece of music, but congregation cannot, cannot participate in it. It was in honor of, let's say, Judy Wimberg's presidency. So we sang it for in, in tribute of her, of her uh, presidency. Yes. We sang it a few, a few other times. Um, when one of the rabbis associate or, 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 or assistant rabbis <coughs> with a farewell Shabbat. I, pull, I chose a piece of music. Uh, <coughs> Make yourself a rabbi. Uh, buy kne. Establish yourself a rabbi and you win a friend. It's also a piece of liturgy, and Ben Starnberg wrote a beautiful uh, duet for it, so Linda and I sing it. So in, in these kind of pieces, you cannot participate, but the emotional involvement, I think, unless people are totally di disinterested in what's happening, um, people will pay attention and sometimes will react back to me afterwards or respond back to me uh, some feedback about the piece that we sang.